Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, it's your boy, so with the Vajabba Tears podcast, and I hope all is well. <laughs> She's laughing over here. This is the one and only, the Super Kicks of Super Kicks and Heels podcast. The amazing, the Haitian, Mimi. That's what's me. Up, what's up, what's up? Yo, your energy, I absolutely love. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Appreciate it, appreciate it. Appreciate I love it. it. Oh my God. It's such a breath of fresh air. Thank you. I appreciate it. So, ladies and gentlemen, we are here on another episode of Coffee Talk with Friends. And I brought another friend on this episode. And we're going to talk a little wrestling the good, the bad, and something hot. Mm. So, first things first, Mimi, what have you been enjoying about wrestling as of late? Do you not follow me? I am enjoying the Tribal Chief. I am loving the Tribal Chief. He and Jay Uso have just blessed us since September, October, whenever it started. Um, that whole storyline just, it was masterful. And um, I know that some people think that maybe he's teetering off, it's getting a little cold. I don't think so. I think it's just, continued layers upon layers upon layers, whatever it is that's coming up next, it's always a surprise. You always think, okay, can this get any better? And yes, it can. And Jay Uso, him, like his whole trajectory and his whole character is just, it's just so good to see him and Big E, that's another one. People that are in tag teams, branching off as singles, and just mm -hmm. showing us that they're they're not that they're better than tag teams, but gosh, like they can do more than just being in a tag team. And I'm just I'm I'm so enjoying it right now. Nah, it's been some it's been some dope stuff with Jay. You mentioned Biggie. Biggie's really getting more mm. comfortable. Mm -hmm. He's really found himself. Like we knew yeah. who he was, but now him as a singles competitor, he's showing you know, a full round character of what of who he is. And it's pretty dope. Like him with a little couch with the yeah. food and he's oh gonna Oh, my God. oh my God. I loved it. I love it. By the I way, by the way, I mess with a dude with some nice pretty feet. And I feel like Big E has nice feet. He probably does. Um because he a polyp a lot of polyphers got nice feet. I don't got nice feet, I got ugly feet. Oh <laughs> <laughs> I got feet like look like you kick rocks. Right. <laughs> I don't think my girl will ever see my feet. So, <laughs> but what's funny though, speaking of feet, uh -huh. I can't date a girl with ugly feet though. Uh -uh. I can't. I can't. I can't. So, so you can tell by their hands. You can tell by their hands. By the way, that's a little tidbit. You can tell by a dude's hands or a, a, a woman's hands if they have um, nice feet. Oh. I got trash hands because I used to power lift. It's mad callus. Mad callus on my feet. Stop, stop, stop. Mad callus on my feet. Mad callus on my feet. Um, like I got on my feet every like once a week. <laughs> but speaking of bad, mm -hmm. let's talk about what in wrestling currently right now that you're like, oh, this ain't good. The women's division right now in the WWE. I don't really? Know. In my opinion, I not that it's not bad. It's not a bad division. It's what's happening. Let Even with NXT okay. being, or just the main roster division. Main roster. Let me let me rephrase. Main roster. I don't like what's happening. We saw another side of Oscar this week. That's the Oscar I want to see. I want to see the ha ha he he Oscar, but I want to see the stab you in the back, Oscar. That's who I want to see. I want to see Green Miss Oscar. Like, I want to see all of that. And right now, I'm just kind of feeling like everything else, I can't, like, I don't know what Charlotte's doing. It's not Charlotte in the ring. I don't know what's happening. I don't know why we're getting, like, right now, I feel like Sasha and, and Bianca woke up to get our WrestleMania story underway. You know what I mean? I don't know why we're doing this tag team thing this weekend. I don't mm -hmm. like that. I don't want it. It is what it is. I don't like Shane and fucking Braun. Oh, sorry. Can't. I, I don't know how to feel about that. I really don't know how to feel about I'll tell that. You, I, don't feel. 
don't feel. It was trash. It was trash. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. It, Thank you. And um, I expected better promos cut from Shane, and it was just not there. I don't and know what you're doing. Bron might be low key overrated. Low key overrated? He might be overrated. I think he just did because he's big. <laughs> <laughs> I'm really because awful. It's it's a lot, and I'm just like, yo, because he, he was cutting a promo the other day on Monday Night Raw, and my girlfriend pointed out. He was shaking. Was he? Yeah. I didn't keep that. She peeped it, and then she, he, he seemed nervous on the mic. And no. I was like, oh, this is this is a little weird. You're sweating a lot right now, <laughs> and you big, yeah. and you big, and you sweating a lot. Yeah, I, I didn't know. I didn't know how to take it, but I was like, all right, cool, whatever. I know. Um, I Slime. I didn't know how to take yeah, the slime. The slime made no sense. I don't know what they were doing with that. It it it, it, it was a failed segment match, whatever. And he just needed the hopscotch. Like I see where they were going with it, mm-hmm. but they didn't tell the story right. It it, it What's didn't. The story, What's the story? So the story is the rich kid versus the 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 you know. The, the the poor like you know athlete kid that's what they're trying to go for but is that what it is Bron, yeah because Braun had mentioned oh I've been bullied by guys like you before you're too big to be bullied which doesn't which doesn't look good because like the look of it is does it fit because <clears throat> he's too big to be bullied oh you know what's funny I've met Shane a couple times that's a big boy he's big that's a big that's a big boy is he? Yeah, he he's solid. Like he's solid. I was like, oh, you big. <laughs> I didn't expect this from you. Right. It's all, it's all that I expected. Like, right. What? Was he like six three, something like that? S- uh, six three, six four, and like wide. Really? Like low key jack. And I was like, oh, you be you be hitting the gym. <laughs> Which what did you think? You, you didn't think he did? Because I didn't think he did. I thought he did that Muay Thai stuff. And that was it. I know he did the Muay Thai stuff because my homeboy used to go to the same Muay Thai gym as him. Oh. And he was there all the time. It, it's like he's in New York. So so that's the reason why. Mm-hmm. Um, but nah, he was solid. I gave him, I gave him a gap. I gave him a hug. I was marking out. I'm not going to lie. I came to my job. At the time, I worked at a gym and he was just sitting there. I was like, oh my God. Oh my God. <laughs> Oh my God. Big bad. And this is what it was. And then everybody was like, Yo, you're so old, man. Nobody knew who he was. I was like, Yo, big And so, like, I like sat with him. I was like, Yo, bro, I'm such a fan of you. Oh my God. Oh my God. He probably and was then, like, But he wasn't. Oh, that's so nice. He was, he was talking to me very nicely. He was chilling. We were just chopping it up. And he was waiting for his wife. At the time, I was working, I was a prison trader at a gym. Equinox, and he was waiting for his wife to get a finish getting a massage, and he was just there, super, super, super duper, duper nice. But speaking of nice things, I love coffee, so I need to know. Yes, yes, I need to know what is your hot coffee take of the week. My hot coffee take of the week has to be Apollo Cruz. He's hot. This whole character is hot. <laughs> you don't like it? <laughs> what are you trying to say? You don't like it? No, I just didn't expect it to be about how sexy Apollo was. No, no, no. No, not necessarily all the sexy of Apollo Crews. <laughs> Mainly, this, just the whole turnaround of his character, him just embracing his heritage, the whole African king thing, the whole Nigerian prince, whatever, king prince, whatever it is. I just absolutely love it. I think that he, um, whatever conversations him and the tribal chief had, I think he took it, he embraced it, he manifested it, and I love it. I don't know. I've not seen anything negative on my timeline, but I hear that there are negativity. There is negativity on the timeline. 
my coffee take is enjoy it. Stop. Like, let this man be who he is. Apparently, this is who he was in the indies. I don't do indie wrestling. Like, I don't really watch it. I don't follow it. So I don't, I don't, I didn't know. But he is, I love this. I love this Apollo Cruz. You know what I mean? I love the two guys that he, his two soldiers that he has in the ring with him. I love the spear. I just love it all. And I want more of it. And the accent, take my bank account. You probably dated a couple of Nigerians before this. That's why you say this. <laughs> No, you love no, this I, way too much. <laughs> um, you know, I, 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 uh, the timeline has been a little. It's been fifty fifty with them. Mm-hmm. It's been very much like people love it or people don't hate it because the racial undertones that's in WWE's past, people feel that it's still being brought out w- with the whole, you know, gimmick. But the thing about it, that's who he is. That's that's where he grew up, and then the spear. People people complain about the spear, and I, I don't know enough. But what I hear is it's part of their culture. But what about the spear? What's wrong with it? They it's they feel problem. like it's like stereotypical, and it's like, and then they're not, yeah. But I don't think they would do that, especially in the times that we're in right now. Right. And I'm pretty sure he wouldn't agree to have the spear. Right. That that that's that's my whole thing with that. I personally um, feel like they they um add on the props to their character. Like exactly. I think they're responsible for their gear. They're responsible for how they look on TV. They're responsible for all of that. You know what I mean? So I don't I I I don't I've seen the comments. I don't understand it, so I keep moving because I'm enjoying it. You know what I mean? So certain things you just gotta enjoy, enjoy it, take it for what it is. Yep. And see where it goes because it's still relatively early, and what him and Biggie have going on is, is a pretty dope storyline. Like yes. African Americans versus Africans that are Amer- that are in America, it's, it's kind of you know you and know you being it's pacing, which is what I love. It's pacing. It's like taking its time. Biggie came off of TV. He gave his little promo while Biggie was off TV. The change happened. And then he took, like, it's just, it's slowly building, which is what I feel like the women's division should be doing too. It should slowly build into something. You know what I mean? Like, for instance, for instance, um, I personally feel that Tamina should have been in, embedded into this whole tribal chief thing. You know what I mean? Mm-hmm. He should have not just Heyman with him. He should have his family with him because they're in the WWE and he is supposed to be the head of the table. So why not bring everybody together? You know what I mean? It's just my opinion. No, would, that makes sense. That makes sense for the, you know, it, it's, it would be good. I think Tamina's over WWE right now. She's just like, ah, ah, I'm just here. I'm just going to get this check. <laughs> right, right. Right, right. But I love seeing her on TV. Like I, she's another coffee take for me. I, I just appreciate seeing her on TV every single week. I love it. She can actually wrestle. She, she can actually do some things that you know. I was like, no, oh, look at you, to me. Look at you, the little super kid. You know, the little things you do in the thing. You know, love that. But, ladies and gentlemen, this was another phenomenal episode. Yes, it of was. Coffee Talk with friends. And we got the super kick of super kicks and heels, Miss Mimi. Peace.